Well, I actually filmed this review two nights ago, went to edit, and noticed that I had forgot to turn my microphone on. So I didn't bother filming it again right then and there, but we're revisiting it now. I've been talking about this fragrance a lot lately. I've been wearing this fragrance a lot lately. We're talking about Bulgari Man Glacial Essence, and we're finally going to dive a little bit deeper into what I actually get from it and why I've been wearing it so damn much. So stay tuned. So I'll have Parfumo's note breakdown for this fragrance on screen. And what you can expect from this one when you first spray it, I'm actually going to give myself a little spritz fresh spray on my hand because I haven't smelled it yet today. So bright and aromatic in the opening. A lot of gin and geranium. It's very bright and fresh. There's some ginger also that adds a little bit of a crispness to it to go with the geranium. That's not overly minty, but there is a brightness to this for sure. Very, very fresh invigorating, uplifting type of opening to this fragrance. As it starts to settle down, it does get a little soft and powdery from the orris note here. Uh, there's a little bit of a clean muskiness as you get deeper into the dry down, but the main note that you're gonna get from this is this clear wood note. So my understanding of this, the way it smells to me, is a soft wood note that kind of, at, I don't know, the, just the way the blend is, the fragrance overall has this very airy, bright, approach to it. It's a soft tone that has some strength to it. Like it's a soft aroma, but still has a little bit of heft and oomph to the scent profile. Like it's still, because when I say soft, it's just not an aggressive smell. It's not abrasive. It's not astringent. There's no sharpness. It's not rough around the edges. All these different things you may have heard me say in other videos. It's none of that. It's very smooth, very pleasing, very subtle and soft in its, in its tone but it's more powerful than I ever thought it would actually be. This is just so enjoyable. I don't think it's special. I don't think it's remarkable. The reason I keep wearing it is because it's so easy to just grab and go with this one. This is one of the fragrances that I can wholeheartedly tell you guys, in my experience for me and my everyday life, this is one of the most easygoing and versatile fragrances in my collection. That's why I keep going back to it, because there's no thought required to go with this fragrance. And what I mean by that is, think about those days when you're like, I'm kind of in the mood for something tobacco today, or I'd really like to rock a boozy fragrance, or there's none of that. There's literally, I need to spray something on, I'm about to go insert the blank, fill in the blank here. I'm about to do whatever. You're going to spray something on, especially if you're watching this video, you're into fragrances. If you're subscribed to my channel, you're really into fragrances. Guess what? So am I. And this is one that I, I got to spray a fragrance for everything. And this is a fragrance I can literally spray for everything, regardless of what I'm wearing, regardless of where I'm going, regardless of how close quarters are open the setting, regardless of the climate indoors or outdoors. This is going to work. I'm very impressed by this fragrance because of the ridiculous amount of versatility for me personally. This fragrance doesn't get a ton of love in the community or on social media as a whole. I know there's people out there that really enjoy this one and think it's pretty underrated and underutilized and underappreciated. And I've become one of those people quickly because look, I kind of wrote it off. I got it a few, kind of about a few months ago at this point. Did a first impressions, liked it, shelved it. Didn't touch it for a while. Then all of a sudden I decided, you know, I haven't been wearing it. I need to start testing this one so I can do a review on it. I kept wearing it and wearing it and wearing it during the day, out the shower, to the gym, multiple days in a row, skip a day or two, back to it again, then again out the shower two days later. It's just, I've worn it over a dozen times in a two-week span. I just, I, I can't get enough of it. If I leave it on the rotation table, it may never come off of it because it's just such an easygoing fragrance. I hope that explains to you why I've been wearing it so much. It's not because it's one of the best smelling fragrances I've ever smelled. Yeah, it smells really good. It's not mind blowing. It's not some crazy original that's like, oh God, you're missing out. That's definitely not the case. It just goes for everything. And that goes a long way with me. You score a lot of points. As far as fragrances, you score a lot of points. 
in OTLTG's rotation when I deem you good for just about anything. And this is good for pretty much everything. Now, as far as performance, another one, it falls right into my wheelhouse, six to eight hours. Leans more in that eight hour range for sure. I'm impressed by this one for as fresh and soft of an ascent profile as this is, I thought maybe five or six hours, which I would have been good with. Six to eight hours every time I spray it. I don't even recall clocking it as little as six hours. Obviously, your skin is going to depend. I mean, it's going to depend on your skin on how it performs on you. But for me, six to eight hours, I couldn't ask for more. I would even be okay with a little bit less, believe it or not. But it just, it does the trick. It's perfect for me. The projection, very heavy in the first hour. Not room filling type of heavy when I say very heavy, but this one can be cloying. There's a lot of aromatics here. Even though there's no lavender, there's a lot of aromatics. You have juniper, you have geranium. Ginger can come across very aromatic. And I think the way they blended this, it definitely does, along with the orris. I mean, there's, it's a strong, bright, airy, and aromatic fragrance. So if you spray it really heavy, it's going to be a bit cloying even for you as the wearer, not just for people around you. If you spray this one heavy, people are definitely going to smell you because the first two hours of this fragrance, it's more potent than I anticipated. Beyond arm's reach type of stuff, which still, after all these wearings, surprises me every time I spray it. Just how strong this actually is. It's a little soapy, but it's not too soapy But because it's so full of aromatics, you know? If it had lavender in it, it would be much soapier, I think. Or an aroli, obviously. It just smells so good. And the sillage here, it will remind you that it's there. Moderate to mild. Nothing crazy heavy. Like once that two hours kind of passes, it does subside. It does sit a lot closer to the skin. But that's to its benefit at the same time. That's where it can... Double is a great work fragrance because if you're moderate to slightly more conservative on the sprays, it'll work in any office setting because it's extremely inoffensive and pleasant. And we go back to that versatility. So the sillage kind of suits it where it'll remind you it's there all through its lifespan. You'll get random whiffs of it, but it's not some super strong and dense aroma out in the air after it calms down to where, you know, when you walk by people, sure, they might get a light whiff within a few feet. They will. It's definitely strong enough for that. But it's not anything that's going to like, you know, 10 seconds after you walk by, it's going to hit them because they just so happen to finally breathe through their nose instead of through their mouth or whatever. It's not immensely strong, but it's underrated for how strong it actually is. I hope that makes sense. Final thoughts on Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. I love this fragrance. I love it. I didn't think I would. I thought I would like it a lot. I thought it would, at minimum I would like it. That's why I bought it blindly. That's, I paid right around 60 bucks from Kingdom Fragrances a while back. Like I said, a few months ago. It's one of my most worn fragrances in recent memory. I just I, I can't seem to get enough of it. It just suits my taste. The versatility on this one really helps its overall score because I love the way it smells. The performance is perfect for what I like. It suits the scent profile perfectly. Believe it or not, I think for me personally, this is a great fragrance at 8 out of 10. Some of you may disagree, but for me personally, for my everyday life, this is a great fragrance. I can get so much use out of this. That juice level is going to continue to drop. I mean, it's not immensely low, but in a two-week span... That's me spraying it a lot. I'll get plenty of use out of this, yeah? I think it's great. That's my final thoughts on Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you had this, have it, have tried it? What do you think about it? Do you agree with my assessment? Do you disagree? Does it underwhelm you, or do you love it? Or do you just think it's okay? Because there's going to be people that feel all of that you know, all over the spectrum, you're going to get that. That's with every fragrance. Um, but I'd love to hear what you guys think that have tried it. And if you haven't tried it, did anything I said here today make you feel like you need to get yourself a sample and get your nose on it? Because I'm still surprised at how much I actually enjoy this fragrance because this is one that I liked at first. Ended up loving, like as soon as I started wearing it on a regular basis. This, if I was to not have near as many fragrances and really cut back the collection because I had to for one reason or another, 
this would probably make the cut because, like I said before, for my everyday life, it doesn't get more versatile than this. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Bulgari Man Glacial Essence and you give it a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later, especially if you have a similar taste to mine. Have a good one, guys. Yeah.